What's going on guys? Today we're going to install a new Sound Blaster card for the Tandy 1000 slash Panasonic Business Partner 1650. The reason we're doing that is because I believe this PC does not have Tandy Sound even though the motherboard is Tandy Sound. It was somehow disabled in the BIOS. So let's go ahead and install this Sound Blaster and get some better sound than just a regular old PC speaker. Alright, so the sound card is in. Let's turn it on. I'll show you guys what we're working with here. So again, that's our hard drive. It's booting to C. Perfect. MS-DOS 5.0. Configuring Creative Vibra 16 plug and play sound card, which I actually didn't know that this was a plug and play sound card. I was actually worried because there is a little bit of a setup involved when configuring these PNP cards. But for this Viber 16, it's really not that bad and I'll show you how to do it. Uh, but that is what you want to see. Bass, IO, 220 hertz, MIDI port, 330 hertz, IRQ, 5, DMA1, high DMA, 5. And I'll show you guys what I did. I found this cool website. Uh, I'll link it in the description. He says, running a Sound Blaster 16 on an XT machine. He links over to these sbpnpxt.exes and mixer.exe files. Uh, and some people do have luck running those. He even shows you how your auto exec bat file should look. I did do this uh, step one. It didn't work for me. What ended up working for me was the alternative solution. The CT410 card setup. And you're going to need the CT410.exe. And I'll put a link to that here. This gentleman here on this forum actually linked it in one of his posts. And he actually describes a little bit further his procedure. Uh, when he runs the CT410EXE, uh, it'll tell him that he needs to set his blaster equals A220I5D, whatever, and all this stuff. You just type that in, you type set, and I'll show you how to do it right now. So we'll do CD. So I created a folder under the folder CT4170. That's where I have my CT4170 program. Once you run that, it'll initialize the card for you. Uh, at first initialization, it'll show here. Uh, I don't want to do it because I hope, knowing my luck, I'll actually I'll mess up my own sound card again. Oh, because this did take me a bit to figure out yeah, last night. Uh, it'll say here, uh, no good, you need to do something like an environment variable uh, and then type in blaster equals A220i5, like what I just showed you on the website. And so it'll look like this. If you type set right here, you can actually add that on here. So the blaster equals A22i5. And then once you run CT4170 again, Obviously, I did it correctly. It's not giving me that message. It's telling me that it's configuring the sound card and it's all set. Once you know that works, you go to your main auto exec dot bat file. Because what you want to do is you want to load that every time you start the computer. You don't want to have to just do that every time you, you want to play games. i rather just have my computer load it for me and it's ready to go. So right here, set blaster equals for this card, I believe most of them too, it's A220, I5, D1, P330, T2. And then I have that EXE file, because I want, I want it to run every time I turn on the computer. I have it in my C folder, uh, the CT4170, and then obviously the CT417. So save out of there once you're done with that. I don't need to save, I did it already. I'll do it again, I'll restart the computer and I'll just show you again, I know I just showed you before. Boom, so see, it'll load everything. 
So I did have some luck with some games. Let's check out some games here. CD, let's try Lemmings. Ah, that's lovely, all right? Finally. Lower this a little bit. I'll show you something else. For those of you who watched my last video, you'll know that Loom was horrible. Also, we'll do Loom T. It sounded horrendous, and I'll show you right now how it sounded. All right, so I don't know about you, that sounds a lot better than the PC speaker sound that we were getting last time. That, that alone is worth it for me. I can't wait to play some Loom. Just uh, hanging out, playing some Loom in a nice dark room. Loom in a nice dark room. All right, so we're gonna do, let's try Prince of Persia, another one that sounds really, really good and I'm happy I have like all the sound effects and everything. Now, the one thing with Prince of Persia. I'm not getting the Tandy graphics. I need to figure that out. Again, because again, this computer is fighting me. It doesn't want to be a Tandy. Some games don't recognize the graphic card. And even if I put T or TGA or whatever after Prince, it'll say that the graphics is not supported. See, I'm a, I'm, I'm a little, I'm decent. I, just, I never played this game before. I'm having issues like, can you hang off ledges? I don't think you can. Because there's no way I have to take this damage right here. There's no way. But I mean, whatever. It's possible, because you do get a health, a health bottle over here, eventually. And the jumping you gotta get used to. Like, like those spikes will kill you, that's instant death. That sound alone, wow. They did such a good job with the sound effects. And every footstep, so cool. Alright, so I want to say we could just, yep, we could just fall right there. Now, you could go down, and I think that's where you get the sword. <clears throat> Excuse me, I think that's where you get the sword. Let's see. Or we die. Either one. Oh, no. Yeah, the bottle that I was talking about before. I wonder if I can go up. No. <laughs> Alright, so that's the thing. There's got to be a way to go off ledges. There's no way to hang off ledges. Alright, whatever. I will do one last game. I know last time I, I did way too many games. I don't think everybody was interested in that. One last game. We'll do Arkanoid 2. Does that work? Oh, I think I did it. I think I labeled it Arc 2. Yeah, Arc 2. Hurry up. It's reading the hard drive. I should really partition it. Uh, smaller. So we're gonna do, 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 where is it? Why can't I find it? Is it DOH? 
Am I crazy? DOH? Look at that. All right, yes. See, we could pick tiny graphics. Again, it'll say it's not detected, but what do they know? Redefine? No. So there you go, I really, sorry, I really like the sound. I'm very happy with the sound and I, I'm not getting that, what, game over? Did I not hit F1 or something? Oh, there we go. Yeah, so I'm really liking the sound. I'm not getting a lot of that noise that you typically hear about when people discuss Vibra 16s. So maybe I got lucky, I'm hoping I got lucky, or I just haven't noticed it yet. Even just the sound effects, it makes it that much more uh, immersive, really. I know that this level you get a lot of drops once you break through there. I'm trying to do that here. Bear with me. Ah, oh, I got set up. That is next though. I need to get a joypad or a joystick. Because uh, the sound card comes with a joystick serial port. Come on, let's get some drops here. There we go. What'd that do? A ghost? What is that? Whoa! I, my vision went for a second. <laughs> so there it is, that's the sound card added to the Tandy slash business partner 1650 slash SL2. <laughs> um, guys, if you know any other games that take advantage of the Sound Blaster, I think there's a hundred, but 20 that really take advantage of it from what I'm Googling. I would like to try them all, obviously. I hope you enjoyed the video, guys. I'll see you on the next one.